Hi, are you wondering how you can keep your child close to Christ and deeply rooted in our beautiful Catholic faith? There's one fun, simple, great way to do that this summer, and I'm going to share that with you in a moment. Hi, I'm Amy Brooks, author of the Be Yourself Journals and founder of CatholicsOnline.net and former teacher of 7th, 8th through 12th grade for 14 years in the Philadelphia Archdiocese. My husband woke up the other day and he said, I know why I believe. You see, the night before we were talking about the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. And I said that I sympathize sometimes with people who don't believe in the real presence because I think for much of my childhood, I thought it was just a symbol, but it wasn't because I was taught that, it's just my brain did not really believe that this was truly the body of Christ. And my husband's response was that I've always believed, but he couldn't put his finger on why. And then that night he had a dream and he woke up the next morning, he said, I know why I believe because my mother took us to Eucharistic Adoration, him and his little sister. And she would say, there's Jesus. Jesus is there. Jesus is present. And his mother that did this um, passed away when he was in eighth grade. And that um, practice, and, and, and they didn't do it often. Um, Eucharistic Adoration chapels, um, I don't think were as common Back then, it would just be the, the Eucharist exposed at um, in the big church once in a while. And uh, I had really had on my heart that I wanted to take our children to Eucharistic adoration more. And thank goodness for Kristalina El Ever Everett. Uh, I met her once, and I was under the mindset that if you go to Eucharistic adoration, you have to stay for an hour. And all that, is, although that is beautiful. And as adults, we should be able to do that. When we're bringing our children, we don't have to do that. It's more important to bring our children, our teenagers, to Eucharistic Adoration, even if it's just for 10 minutes. Now, I was telling um, a family friend about this who has a 16-year-old that is really doubting her faith. And I said, you know, my plan is, and I just did this with my kids uh, last week, is we're gonna to go to adoration, then we're gonna go out for ice cream. You know, it's going to be an event that has a happy feeling to it. And um, I taught seventh through 12th grade. They love sweets. I, if I would say I have a candy bar, if you give me the right answer, every hand would go up. So there's something about sweets that really uh, lifts spirits. And I, don't, I think that there's nothing wrong with that, to take your child to adoration and then have an ice cream date. And I, I suggest it to um, this friend of mine to do that with his daughter and he said she won't go she will not even go in and I said well you tell her that you're going for you because I need to go to adoration and we all need to listen to silence and meditate even if you don't believe in God meditation and silence um, have a stress re relieving effect a health benefit you know so just make it about you you're going and they can either sit in the car or sit in the back because, you know, it's summer and it's hot. So bring them. And if they sit in the car, then they're closer to Jesus than they were if they were sitting at home. And you just pray even more fervent, fervently for them there. Okay, you can do this and make it fun and try to build up the time. Make it something you do on a weekly basis if you can. And just remember, Jesus is there and he will take care. Thank you so, for, so much for watching this video. Please hit subscribe and comment below. There are some resources for you below. I think it's totally fine for a teen or a young child even to color during adoration. So I have some coloring pages that have inspiring, inspiring quotes from scripture and saints. And you can get that link below. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.